Hello, my name is Attila Sago. I'm from the Hungarian Civil Liberties Union. And I also want to uh, open our website because it will help me to uh, enlist our topics. Just, okay. Yes, and uh, the Hungarian Civil Liberties Union was established in 1993 or 4, as I see. Um, so here are our topics. I don't want to uh, enlist them. Uh, I just want to refer that we care about these topics. And we, when we cooperate or have or uh, do anything with the municipalities, we uh, do it connected to that topic. Uh, I would like to uh, emphasize three or four um, uh, issues uh, from the last couple of years, how we uh, approach them in municipalities. One of this is from, uh, connected to the disability rights, because we have a cooperation with uh, the, the capital city of Budapest. Uh, uh, we um, make a lot of advocacy how to how to uh, uh, how they can establish a um, house for people in special disabilities, uh, and they plan to build it. And this is a huge success. We have um, uh, practical barriers, but we hope the best. Uh, the next one that I would like to emphasize, and it is not understood here, is our election program, because in 2019, when the, most of the cities in Hungary had uh, uh, municipality elections, we uh, we had a lot of civil organizations, small civil organizations from these cities and villages, how they can uh, go to the local election, what they can do, what are their rights, uh, how they can uh, turn to courts if they have legal problems, etc. And a lot of them uh, had success, and they are in the city councils and town councils, which was also a huge success. And uh, the third thing that I would like to mention, and it is why I am here from my organization, because I'm working in a uh, so-called regional program of the Hungarian City of Liberty Union. It is not understood so here because it's a quite a fresh one. Um, it was established in 2020, and we uh, opened uh, uh, Offices in um, in uh, cities outside of Budapest. First in Page, uh, which is close to Croatia. Maybe it says something to you. Um, and the other one is uh, in Debrecen. We opened it in this year because our uh, plan is to go closer to people who are not uh, living in uh, the capital city, who are maybe living in small uh, villages around these regional uh, capitals. And it is a quite a success one, and we also plan to open a third office in the next year, probably in Miskolc or Szeged. Um, and we see uh, that it is very important to go not just to in, go uh, to small cities and small villages where uh, this huge uh, gap uh, is uh, uh, can be experienced. But uh, added toward in the beginning of the today. Um, yes, and uh, just to say something about uh, the pandemic area, um, that uh, there were special um, regulation in Hungary which meant that the mayors of the cities can practice all of the rights what the city council had before during this one year. And we had one of the uh, elected municipal representative from a small city who was representing uh, a civic organization and turned to the constitutional court and we said this is anti-constitutional. Uh, we lost the case, <laughs> so it was not successful, but I think it says how we can support all the civic activities from these small cities and, and towns um, from rural and rural areas. Um, yeah, and, yeah, and that's all.